Welcome to Learn Next. Here's the sample solved problem from our lesson Momentum and Second Law of Motion. This is an interesting question. According to it, a 8000 kg engine pulls a train of 5 wagons, each of 2000 kg, along a horizontal track. If the engine exerts a force of 40,000 Newton, and the track offers a friction force of 5000 Newton, then you need to calculate the net accelerating force, the acceleration of the train and the force of wagon 1 on wagon 2. Let us solve this question with the help of the following diagram. In this diagram, this represents the engine This is wagon 1, this is wagon 2, 3, 4 and 5. We are given that mass of the engine, let us take it as Me is given as 8000 kg, the number of wagons Let us take it as N is 5 and mass of each wagon. Let us take it as MW which is given as 2000 kg. Now the total mass of the wagons that's 5 wagons is equal to number of wagons into mass of each wagon which will be 5 into 2000 which is equal to 10,000 kg. Now let us solve the first part of the question that is the net accelerating force. Now we are given that force exerted by the engine let us take it as FA is equal to 40,000 Newton which is given also given that friction exerted by the track let us take it as FT is minus 5000 Newton which is here you might be wondering why this is negative it is because the friction always opposes motion hence the negative sign now the net accelerating force F will be given by FA plus FT. This will be equal to, now we have FA as 40,000. And FT as minus 5,000. This is 5,000. Which is equal to. 35,000 Newton. This is the answer for first part of the question. Now let us find the answer to the second part of the question that is the acceleration of the train. Now we all know that the relation between mass which is represented by M, acceleration A and force F is given by F is equal to MA. If you remember, this is the equation for Newton's second law. Therefore, acceleration of the train will 
A will be given by F by M. I am making A as subject, M is sent to the other side. Now we have the value of F as 35,000 Newton. Therefore, 35,000 divided by the mass would be the mass of all the five wagons because the train is pulling all the five wagons. This will be equal to 10,000. Upon simplification, we will get 3.5 meters per second square. This is the answer for second part of the question. Now let us solve the third part of the question that is the force of wagon 1 on wagon 2. Now to calculate the force of wagon 1 on wagon 2 we need to find or we need to consider the mass of wagon 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let us connect this as well. Now the mass of each wagon is 2000 kg. Therefore the mass of 4 wagons we are considering wagon 2, 3, 4 and 5 will be 4 into 2000 which is equal to 8000 kg. Also, acceleration of each wagon will be equal to the acceleration of the train. which is, as we have just found out, 3.5 meters per second square. Therefore, force exerted by wagon 1 on wagon 2 will be given by mass of four wagons into acceleration which is 8000 into 3.5 which is equal to 28000 Newton. This is the answer for third part of the question. Let us check it in the diagram. We have the force exerted by the engine would be here and force exerted by wagon 1 on wagon 2 will be here. With this we come to an end of the solution to this question.